If you are someone who just started learning cloud or thinking about learning a cloud, the first question that comes to your mind would be which cloud you should go with. Whether you should start with AWS or Azure or GCP or any other cloud that is there in the market. So everyone has this doubt, don't worry, you're not the only one. When I started my cloud journey six years back, as I was working as a production support engineer, I transitioned into cloud and DevOps. So I had this doubt and I had to go through the same thing that you must be going through right now. Like where should we start with? So don't worry about it. In this particular video, we'll be discussing which cloud you should go with as a beginner and why you should choose that cloud. We'll be looking into things like most of the organizations are moving to multi-cloud and hybrid cloud uh, infrastructure model. So whether it is advisable to learn more than one cloud or not. And I will also share my journey into cloud, like how I learned AWS, then Azure, then GCP. So without wasting any time, let's start with this video. Okay, before learning the cloud or before or, you know, choosing which cloud you should go with. The first question that you should ask yourself is why are you learning the cloud? There could be more than one reasons for you to learn a cloud, whether you are looking for a job in cloud and DevOps because it is you know, hot in the market or you are a startup co-founder, founder or CTO and looking to evaluate different cloud options so that you can move your workload in that particular cloud or you could be a student who is trying to host their personal project on the cloud. It could be a static website like a resume or a cool project that you have built and you want it to be a live project and so on. So these three are the main reasons. There could be many more reasons why you should be learning the cloud, but these three are the main reason on top of my head. So we will be discussing on each of these three. So the first one is, let's say you are someone who is looking to get a job into cloud or DevOps. And that's why you are planning to learn the cloud. Now, which cloud you should go with? The first and the most important reasons out of what I'm about to explain is the job opportunities in the market, especially in your demographic area. So have a look at these facts and figures first which I just got it from the LinkedIn. So I did a quick LinkedIn search based on the demographic area and based on the cloud provider. And let's have a look at the jobs available in the market at this moment, uh, 18th April 2024. This is the date on which I just, you know, did that search. So have a look at that. So I did the search for three countries, United States, Canada and India. So this will give you some idea. Let's start with the United States. So AWS has 10,000 plus openings. Azure has 68,000 plus opening, which is a huge number, by the way. GCP has 37,000 plus openings. If we talk about Canada, AWS has 300 plus opening. Azure has 5,300 openings and GCP has 1,900 openings. If we talk about India, AWS has around 3000 openings, Azure has 31,000 openings and GCP has 7,700 plus openings. So based on this data, based on this number, it is pretty evident that Azure is the market leader when it comes to the job opportunities in the market at this moment. Right. We are not talking about past. Yes, we know that AWS has been the market leader for a long time because it was the first cloud that came into the picture and so on. But we are not worried about that. We are worried about how many jobs are there in the market because the number of jobs that are present in the market will increase our odds of getting a job in the market as a fresher, as a beginner. Right. So from this data, it is clearly evident that you should go with Azure. First, Azure should be your first choice. GCP should be your second choice and AWS should be your third choice based on this particular data, right? The second point is market share. Again, the thing that we were talking about, what most of the companies are using because AWS has been market leader for so many years. So AWS has a huge market share, then Azure and then GCP. But the first point that we discussed, the job opportunities, it shows that people are moving away from AWS to Azure and GCP, right? Because of the increasing demand in the market. So there could be a lot of companies working with AWS, but many companies are moving to Azure and GCP based on the numbers that we have just discussed. This is not my personal opinion. This is not something that I am making up from my mind. This is from the data that we have just seen, right? So this was the second point, market share. 
The third point is if you have an opportunity of getting the hands on experience in your current job. Let's say you are working as a different role. You are working as a production support or a developer or, a, you know, any other role. And you had this opportunity to learn the cloud from a different team. Let's say a team that you are sitting next to, they are working on AWS infrastructure setup and you have access to that team. You can do some hands on. You can get your own POC lab and you can, you know, work with them. You can understand what they are working on and try to implement the same by yourself. So if you have that opportunity, then yes, go with that because that will give you production ready hands on experience that your company is already working with. So that is equivalent to actually working on the project. Not 100%, I would say, but you will get some idea and you will be able to, uh, you know, answer those uh, questions in the interview. So, yes, that's that's a good point. If you, you know, if you have that opportunity to have the hands on experience, then go with that. Then the next point would be learning resources. So if we talk about these three clouds, uh, AWS, Azure and GCP, each of these have their own learning platform by which you can sign up and, you know, uh, do the workshops, do the learning by yourself. Now compare from these three options, which one is free or which one is the cheapest or which one has the more resources like AWS has skill builder lab. GCP has a uh, Google cloud skill boost and Azure has Microsoft learn. So compare the course content, compare which has more work workshops, uh, which will give you a more benefit if you, you know, go with that with minimum cost or free of cost. And then you can choose with that cloud as well. And there could be many other factors that you should consider, but these are the main ones, right? So, and based on that, the first point that I've told you job requirement in the market, that is the most important one. So make sure you do enough research on that. Uh, and, and these all points were if you were someone who is looking to get a job in cloud and DevOps, let's say now you are a student, you are learning cloud because you want to host your personal projects on cloud. Right. In that case, because most of the cloud are some or less offering the same services. So you should go with the one that is offering you the services under free tier or with the minimum cost. Right. So compare all the option. And, and in that case, it doesn't matter whether you are learning AWS, Azure, GCP or any other cloud like DigitalOcean, Oracle, um, HashiCorp Cloud, Alibaba Cloud. It doesn't matter. Your goal is not to learn the cloud. Your goal is to just learn it enough so that you can use it so that you can host your projects on it. Your main goal is still the development. Your main goal is still developing the applications and spend minimum time on infrastructure maintenance and infrastructure setup, right? So choose the one that is cost effective, usually within free tier or with minimum cost and which has minimum steps to set up and maintain the infrastructure, right? So that's the other point. Um, the next use case that we were going to discuss is if you are someone who is a co-founder, founder, CTO, or uh, from the board of directors and looking to evaluate different options that every cloud has to offer. Again, like I said, every cloud offers more or less the same services unless you have a specific use case. For example, like Google has this service called BigQuery, which is used for data warehousing and it is one of the best services out there for such use cases. So if you have any special use case, then it's a different story. If not, if you have the standard workloads or, you know, the usual ones, what you can do is you can, you know, contact their sales reps. You can, there is always a, you know, account team, you can contact them or pre-sales team and see what options you have as a startup to incorporate the cloud. What are their offerings? Many of the clouds, they are providing a lot of, uh, you know, um, cloud credits, uh, their dedicated support, uh, trainings and everything free of cost for a couple of years so that they can onboard you later on. Like Google has this uh, program called Google for Startups, which is offering a huge amount of credits, um, trainings and whatnot. Right. So try to compare these options as well, because it is really important for you to understand these things as a startup founder or as a, someone who has authority in making these kind of decisions in your company. So these were the things that you should keep in mind uh, while you should 
be learning a cloud. Now, the next part is, as I've said, many organizations are moving to multi-cloud or hybrid cloud model. Like, is it advisable to move to learn one cloud or more than one cloud? So I would say start with one cloud. OK, get some level of proficiency in that. Build some project, do the hands on. Try to get at least one associate level certification in that and try to get a job in that. Once you are in your job, once you achieve your goal of getting into the cloud, then you can start learning another cloud, you know, so do it step by step. Do not put yourself at multiple places at the beginning. It will just overwhelm you. OK, so that's my advice on multi cloud and, uh, you know, hybrid cloud. How do we tackle that situation? OK, now uh, about my cloud journey, how I entered into cloud. So what I did. I was working as a production support engineer. I started with the freelancing. You know, I got my certification first, AWS Certified Solution Architect. Yes, after multiple failure attempts. Uh, I'll tell you later someday else. But for now, just understand this. I uh, did my certification first. Then I got some freelancing gigs on Upwork. I was working there for, you know, a few months, six months to one year, maybe for a couple of startups in parallel. And then while doing that, I got a job as a DevOps consultant in CIBC Canada. And uh, over there, I've got this opportunity like my other team, they were working into Azure. So I had this opportunity. I went ahead. And, uh, you know, I had a talk with my manager if I could be part of that team, if I could learn Azure and I could implement the same in our project as well. And they were happy because, you know, uh, when companies are moving from one cloud to another, they really uh, invest a lot of time and a lot of energy on that. So that's what I did. I, I learned Azure. I, I did some certification. I did actually uh, four or five certifications in in next one year or so one and one one and a half years i learned azure devops and i just not only learned i implemented all those things i implemented azure devops end to end in my organization for multiple applications for multiple projects so i had a good understanding at that time so the same that i suggested you i learned one cloud i got a job and then i learned second cloud while i was there on the job so at this time, I had experience of two clouds, plus I was working on Kubernetes as well. And I did my CK certification as well around four years back. So then after that, I got this opportunity to interview with Google. And when I joined Google, now I, I cannot work with AWS or Azure as I'm working in Google, right? So I had to learn a new cloud, which is GCP. So that's how I learned all three clouds. And now, so, you know, I have learned these three clouds over past many years. I don't want to lose that knowledge and I still want to keep myself up to date with the market. So I keep learning it. I keep doing certifications. Uh, I recently did AWS certified uh, DevOps engineer certification. I also have Azure DevOps certification. I have GCP DevOps certification. I have I have a lot, lot of those, but the point is I'm trying to keep myself up to date with the market. And that is why I'm teaching over here as well. You know, I'm I'm in my channel. I'm teaching AWS, Azure, GCP, all three clouds, plus DevOps, plus Kubernetes and everything. So that's, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with this video. All right. I hope this video was somewhat helpful in clearing some of your doubts in choosing your first cloud as a beginner. And you should have a pretty good idea now, like which cloud you should go with. So if you think the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel and please share it with your friends, family and colleagues who, who you think uh, could take some benefit from this video or any other videos on my channel. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.